Hey guys, what's up? T-Bag here. Today I'm going to be talking about a new game mode in Black Ops 3 called Nightmares, which actually unlocks after you complete the original campaign story mode. And it's pretty cool actually. From what I know about it, I don't know too much. Uh, it is a campaign-like game mode that actually has zombies in it, which is pretty cool. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the two work together. Because, you know, there is an actual storyline to the zombies mode, and there's a storyline to the campaign. But this is kind of like a cross between them, and I think it has its own storyline. So it should be very interesting to see how that works out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, like, do kind of like a little playthrough of this first mission. And because it's so long, I had to cut it up into two different episodes. So this one mission is actually going to take... Uh, two episodes because uh, that's just how they made the story missions in the game they made them actually a lot longer than in previous games which is cool I like that and um, by the way if you haven't played the actual campaign it's actually insane you should go play the story mode it has so many twists and turns in it, um, it it's, it's just really good I would recommend it but anyway uh, we'll go ahead and get this playthrough started uh, when I'm not talking uh, it's because most of the time there's a cutscene going on and uh, I just want you guys to be able to get the actual story part of it as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and at the end I'll go ahead and just sort of recap everything that's happened and uh, move on from there and sort of we'll go into all that in the next episode. Anyway guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's go ahead and jump into it. I am Dolos, mistress of deception and truth. All that remains is your you sacrifice. You are more powerful than he Humanity can has outstayed its welcome. The dead shall inherit the earth. Listen to the sound of my voice. Can you hear me? Who's there? I can't see you. My name is Dr. Salim. We've met before. Dr. Salim? Where am I? You have fallen between the world of the living and the dead. The void. I'm dead? I can't be dead. Deimos, I have to stop him. And you still can. I'll explain as we go. For now, you must trust me. Think back to Coalescence. The start of your journey. The beginning. The beginning. Okay, wow. This is... Uh, this is definitely, like... Almost where... It... it What's the word I'm looking for? It's. It started at Coalescence. It has similarities to the campaign. In 2070. Ten years after the disaster. After virus 6115 began its spread. After the dead began to walk the earth. We'd lost comms with John Taylor's squad. Another undead extermination team. Dead killers, we were called. Their cybernetic augmentations, we were impossible to infect. We were trained to terminate the undead. Hendrix was on edge. We were in a quarantine zone, one of many walled-off areas separating humanity from the undead, built to keep the virus and the infected behind their wall, away from the rest of us. The undead weren't our only concern. The 54 Immortals, a local combine who remained in the containment zone, were aware of Taylor's activity. This place was the epicenter of the epidemic. The 2060 coalescence disaster created the cursed world we lived in today. Any activity at this site would set off alarm bells. Either way, our troubles were only just beginning. Wow, this is crazy so far. There's a ton of zombies out there. I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to be like stealthy or if I'm supposed to like take them out. I'm not, I don't know. Oh, wait, okay, cool.
Oh, where am I getting shot from? There we go. Yeah. Should solve most of my problems. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that an insta-kill? In the campaign? Like, insta-kill? It sure is. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's cool. Oh. Um... We should have known that the ASP was in place. If we were going to bring it down, we'd need to disable the shield and find a rock on Hey. Thank you. Hendrix had a bad feeling about this. He wasn't the only one. I knew we shouldn't be there. Alright, so this is like a campaign story mode, but there's zombies in it. It's pretty sick. <laughs> oh, I gotta hack this, okay. <laughs> I was like, do you gonna open it up or what? <clears throat> I'm gonna try my best not to like... <laughs> Enhance yourself for a better tomorrow. They've been the forefront of technology, always wanting to improve the individual, the future of you. What happened? What went wrong? A coalescence disaster happened. Virus 6115 spread throughout Singapore and strains popped up all over the world. Governments built these quarantine zones to house the undead, a way for the populace to ignore what was happening. Ten years on, and it had worked. We put it out of mind. Ignorance was bliss. What was so special about this operation? It was supposed to be by the books. Five years after our cybernetic augmentations, Hendrix and I were a well-oiled machine. Quarantine sweeps, recon, search and rescue. It's just what dead killers do. But we'd never been sent after one of our own before. John Taylor's systems had gone quiet. With our direct neural interface, we're hardwired into Winslow Accord servers. Observation knew if you were dead or alive. For Taylor to be neither, that was unusual. Okay, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna try not to talk during those little cutscenes because, like, you're telling me important information about the story. So, I'm, I'm doing my best to, like, shut up during those moments, but, uh, this is cool. It's actually exactly like a campaign mission, like, exactly the same, except for there's zombies right now. And, um, obviously, different audio and different storyline and stuff. Uh, this is. This is really interesting, like... We located an EMF source and uploaded it to Central. It was a 54 immortal audio log, detailing unusual activity coming from the server room at the lowest level of the building. It couldn't have been more than a week old. Probably why Taylor's team had been sent to investigate. Hendrix activated a recon drone to scan for life. We picked up a signal coming from far below. As we stood there in the atrium, I felt like Alice. And we were about to jump down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Man, dude. Okay, so yeah, this is this is literally like a story mission, but they've remade it into like a zombie storyline. It's pretty sick. I'm gonna sort of like run through this because most of this is just like pointless running, you know? You know what I mean? 
Um, yeah. Our drone picked up activity ahead. We should have known we weren't alone down here. Oh, bro. <laughs> Zombie has like a ton of health. Really? <laughs> I miss, missed the melee. Come on. Ooh! Oh, wow. There's a lot of zombies down here. Dude. Oh, I can only carry one gun at a time. Okay. Oh, I have a specialist? Oh, dang. I'll take the ICR, though. I, I like this gun more. Yeah, that was crazy. Alright, so, uh, oh, oh, okay, cool, cool, there's just gonna be a massive, um, bridge that falls on top of my head, that's, that's fine. That's, that's what wrecked me last time, so do not go that way. Huh. <laughs> Following this little drone, man. When man fled the virus, they left behind thousands of active robots. Machinery abandoned with one directive. Kill the dead. Years later, they're still killing. But with decrepit programming, somehow humans have been added to their kill list. Indistinguishable from our brainless counterparts. The strange behavior was observed in multiple quarantine cells. Another nuisance for us to deal with while on recon. We moved on. Okay, so now I gotta watch out for robots and zombies. Cool. <laughs> I did the same thing in this story mission in the campaign, dude. Uh, I forget you can't shoot that robot. the silo's floor but the signal came from lower still below coalescence oh bro I'm almost out of ammo this isn't good That's all my ammo. Can I get a max ammo, man? I don't have any more grenades either. Uh oh, fail. This will be fun. Oh, okay. There's still one hit. Awesome. Okay, so that's not going to be a problem. I, I was scared they were going to take like four or five hits, you know? Uh, only one.
Oh, there's a gun. Let's go. Hendrix, do you even watch your back, bro? Am I have to save you? Am I have to carry you through this, Hendrix? <laughs> it's just more efficient to melee the zombies than anything. Like, there's really no point in shooting them. I feel like because. Oh, there's another gun. What's that? Oh, a sniper. Yeah, I'm gonna like this thing. Assuming I can hit my shots, you know. <laughs> this thing is sick. Um, I've seen a couple people using this in multiplayer. It does work. The charge rate is a lot faster than I thought it would be, so... It's it's pretty good weapon. Yeah, how many zombies are there going to be, man? This is kind of like dragging on a bit, you know what I'm saying? Really? Dude, my aim right now is terrible. Got my boy. Uh, yeah, okay, that's the last one, it seems. Thank you. <laughs> Did you have any inkling of what waited for you? No. In hindsight, we should have put it together. But the fact of the matter. That day was supposed to be like any other. Okay, so let me get this straight. There's tons of zombies you just killed, and they still decide to go down, and they had no idea what they were getting themselves into. I, I don't know. Something seems a little off about that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how, how are you not going to know that there's something there? I mean, you literally just killed a ton of zombies, you know what I mean? Ooh, magic box. Ooh, what's this? A dingo? I'll take that. What did you find below Coalescence? A CIA black project. Project Corvus. Unknown to the world, and unknown to most people in the know. As off the record as it got. A redacted footnote in Langley's history book. Part of me wishes we just turned back. Why? It, well, it would have been easier for me, for Hendrix, for the world. Is it such a bad thing to want to be blissfully ignorant in the face of daunting adversity? We didn't have a choice. Those who find fate thrust upon them rarely do. Alright, um, I'm expecting a lot of zombies to pop out in this room, because I remember in the campaign there were lots of robots. And the door closed. Not nah, bro, are you serious? Like, where did that robot come from, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Oh... Yep, what did I say? See, like, zombies just popping up out of thin air, like, this makes no sense. Oh boy. Come on, reload. But you see, you see, like, they just pop up out of the ground? Like, what's that? Oh, oh. Dude. 
okay that just got like it went from like zero to a hundred real quick man like all of a sudden they're just like zombies everywhere okay <clears throat> Okay, I still have the rocket launcher. I didn't know that. See, like, like, where does that robot come from? It just comes out of the ground. They have teleporting robots and teleporting zombies now. really need to reload right now oh man zombies popping up everywhere man I almost just want to like stay in this room you know I feel like I'd be better off cause there's a ton of zombies that spawn in there Better reload while I got a little bit of downtime here. Hey, I think I killed them all in here. I think they're gonna start spawning in there now. Oh, oh, where did you come from? Nah, I, I want to keep my dingo, man. I actually like this thing. Um, well, let's uh, let's keep going. All right, let's hack into this door. Cutscene. The human testing lab. What awaited you there? We found. The truth. The cause of the disaster. You are certain of this? We didn't have the full picture. Not yet. But this was the source. We knew coalescence was where the virus originated. But residue of 6115 in the air left no doubt. This was where it all began. When the disaster happened, hundreds of thousands died instantly. They were the lucky ones. Because when the rest of Singapore inhaled 6115, they changed. From the living into the living dead. These test subjects, they were linked together, connected with a direct neural interface. Their minds hardwired into the central server. Hendrix didn't like what he saw. You knew something was wrong. The same tech in our own heads made us what we were. It was down here, in this room. We didn't know what happened, but the data didn't lie. Man did what man always does, playing God and fucking everything up. We, the CIA, man, we created these things. We changed the world. How do you mean, change the world? The Winslow Accord and the Common Defense Pact. We'd been engaged in a Cold War for nearly a decade. 6115 changed that. When the dead walked among us, we set aside our differences. For all of your conflicts, you and your enemy had two things in common. You're both human. And you both okay, guys, so that's going to be it for this episode. And at the end here, sort of just to recap, uh, it seems that we have, we're kind of like this special force that takes out the zombies. And we've been sent on this mission to go investigate uh, this facility and we've uncovered a secret government testing lab underneath that uh, we just found out they had been testing humans on uh, with the virus and the people that had been testing they had the 
DNI in the back of their head as well. So they're kind of worried about what might happen to them. And uh, they need to further investigate and go farther down. So we'll go ahead and pick up that on the next episode. We're still on the first story mission again. We're only halfway through. And um, I, we will continue the series. And I will show the rest of the mission later on. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it's entertaining. Just let me know. And um, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. And have a great day.